Word on the street is, this new Bolt tool might be the cursor killer. Unlike cursor, Bolt has everything packaged into it, so you don't have to know technical things like downloading different files and accessing them or deploying the code on a local host. With Bolt, apparently it's all right there. So in today's video, I'll walk through how you can use Bolt as a complete beginner from someone that has no idea how to code. Okay, so I'm on Bolt's homepage here. It's bolt.new and you just have this text box where you can talk to it. So you basically tell it what you want to build and it should write the code and build it for you. So the idea that I wanna to build today is a title generator for YouTubers. So basically they should be able to put in the concept of their video or what their video is about and it should spit out ideas for the title of that video. So to get started here, I'll just start typing and say like, hey, build this YouTube generator web page for me but in order to do that, we will have to use some AI. So I plan on using the API key from Perplexity here. And, and, and look, I don't know how to use APIs, right? I'm not technical. So I'm gonna ask it and have it walk me through how I can implement that API so that this is an AI app that generates those YouTube titles. So let's get started typing here. I'm just gonna say, build me a YouTube title generator landing. On the page, there should be a text box where the user will input what there is about as well as a button that says when someone clicks the send it button, the app should give them five YouTube title ideas based off of what their video is about. You will need to use AI for this app and I'd like to use the Perplexity API to with the YouTube title ideas. Once you have rebuilt, please let me know how I can implement the Perplexity API into the app. And we hit enter and see what happens. So it's loading. A lot of reviews so far have said that it's pretty slow, but this is, you know, version one. They just released this like this week or last week. So let's see what happens. So it's writing all the code, writing more code, title generator. So it says it's creating initial files. It's creating the components. So it's creating the title generator, then it's creating the title results. Okay, so here we go. Now it's actually giving me the instructions, I believe, on how to add the Perplexity API so that this is an actual AI application. By the way, this landing page looks pretty sweet. Like I could definitely see this being like an actual landing page or lead gen tool for a business or like a, an app for YouTubers. So I think this looks super clean, especially on one try and uh, a few sentences of instructions, but it's telling me that I need to go get the API code. I need to replace some of the code with the actual API. But what I wanna try is if I just go to generate a new API code here. So I have the API code from Perplexity. And when I go back here, I just wanna say like, hey, I don't wanna have to implement the API code and the code myself. That seems complicated. So I wanna tell it, hey, here's the API code. Can you update the code for me and include it? Here is the perplexity API code. Can you add it to the app for me? Now let's see. Certainly, I'll add the API code for you. That is cool. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Loading, loading, loading. See now like it looks like you can deploy it here but like if you could build an AI generator, this would be awesome. Especially like if you run a SaaS, you could put this on your website and it can be like a, an incredible lead gen tool. The app is now using Perplexity's API to generate real title suggestions based on the user's input. Okay, let's see if this works. I'll, I'll make it on this video. What is your video about? The video is a review and tutorial on a new AI tool called bolt.new. Now we send it. Generating titles, an error occurred. Oh no, oh no. So it says, potential problems detected. Should we try to fix these, fix problems? That's cool because I don't know how to code, so if there's a bug in there, it's not like I can do anything. So it says, I apologize the errors. It seems like there's an issue with the error handling in our application. Let's fix this by modifying our error handling approach. We'll update the app.tsx and perplexityapi.ts files. Again, no idea what any of that means. So hopefully it can fix itself. This is kind of crazy if it actually just fixes itself because otherwise I'd have no idea what to do. So 
it says it restarted, it updated everything. Let's try this again. The video is a review and tutorial on a new AI app called Bolt.new. Now we send it one more time. Ah, failed to generate titles. Please try again. Okay, so show problem, errors, request failed with status code 400. So let's try to fix the problem again. I apologize for the oversight. It seems the perplexity API is returning a 400 bad request error. This could be due to the incorrect API usage or an invalid API key. Let's modify our code to handle this error more gracefully and provide more informative feedback to the user. So maybe it's my API key. Let's copy that again. Here is the API code again. Please make sure it is correct in your code. Oops, I said COD, but hopefully since it's AI, it knows what I mean. Double checking the API, updated, replaced. Okay, if you're experiencing issues, please try the following. Test the application, check the browser. Okay, drum roll. Let's see if this works this time. The video is about a new AI tool called Volt. That can help people create apps with only text. Send it, please. Let's go, baby. Look at that. So it actually came up with them and the API actually worked this time. Okay, so five mind-blowing facts about the video is about a new video. The ultimate guide to the video is about a new AI tool called Bolt.new that can help people. The video is about, so definitely need some tinkering because these titles aren't really titles. They kind of suck. It says fix problem, show the problem, error generating titles. Okay, so let's try to fix that problem and see if we can get some better results here. So it says there's not enough information. So it's still a little buggy. Let's see what it comes up with here. And maybe this has to do more with the perplexity API. I don't know, I've never used it before. This is the first time. So let's try, what is your video about? Now let's send it. Five mind blowing facts about, it's about a new, the ultimate guide to it's about a new AI tool. Yeah. So. All it's doing is saying the ultimate guide to five mind blowing facts, secrets of, and then it's just like pasting exactly what I wrote in there. So I don't think the AI is quite working, but I think if you use like a different API here, it might, it might work again. I'm not technical, but it seems like it has something to do with the actual API that's getting used here. So let's try doing something that doesn't have anything to do with like an AI generator. Let's just try to create a simple landing page. Let's pretend I'm a SEO agency. I'll just say, please create me a landing page for an SEO agency that helps landscaping companies rank higher on Google. I want the landing page to include a section on our services, our rates, and customer testimonials. You can create big info for all the sections for now. I also want the color scheme to be Christmas colors. Let's see what it comes up with here. Loading, loading, certainly. Let's retrieve the template contents. Now that we have the template contents, we'll create the landing page. This all looks like a completely different language to me, but I think it's so cool how it's just boom, 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 boom. Okay, I can see it's creating like the basic pricing. So $4.99 per month, $9.99 per month, weekly check-in. So it's creating that fake info like I asked it to. It's using John Smith as the name. The company is Green Thumb Landscaping. And the quote is, so it's adding all of this information in real time. It's adding Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Okay, it clearly knows what it's doing. Now, the moment of truth, the preview here. So let's see. And we have an error. Okay, click outside, press escape, or fix the code to dismiss. I guess I'll say it looks like there an error. Can you please invest? gate and try to fix it. Come on now. Come on, Bolt. What are you doing? I apologize for the oversight. Come on, you can't be, you can't be having oversight here. What? Okay. Updating package.json. Still doesn't look good. 
Come on, come on, come on. Index.html. Made several changes to the project setup. Come on, let's see. Come on, how are we looking? Nothing. The preview shows a blank white screen. What is going on? I apologize for the oversight. Again, the oversight bolt, come on. Okay, and we're getting the same error here. Someone that knows how to code is probably like, dude, just do this, but I don't know how to code. That's the problem here. Let's see if we can diagnose this a little bit. Click outside, press escape key. Okay. Click outside, press escape key, or fix the code to dismiss. You can also disable this overlay by setting it is giving me an error that says, what should I do about this? Please make it work. Come on, let's update the main app component and make sure all imports are correct. And when I hear developers talking about like finding bugs and trying to find the air, I feel like this is, uh, this is what they deal with all day. Is this what it's supposed to be? Maybe. Can you make it look like a fully functioning website? Maybe we give it an example, Avalanche Creative. Let's see what their website looks like here. So let's just tell it to make something like this. Use this website and make it look like that. Let's see, it's kind of disappointing me so far. Update, come on, come on. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It's not looking good so far, and I only have 23,000 out of my 150,000 daily tokens remaining on my free plan, so this might be a bust. It's updating a lot of stuff. Let's see, come on. Am I doing something wrong? Do I refresh code? What is, what is wrong here? I don't understand it. Preview, and I reused all of my remaining tokens. Look, if you see that I'm doing something wrong, please comment below. I have no idea what's going on here. This kind of sucks. I do know that they're like very new to the game. Maybe there's just some bugs that need to be worked out, but I'm not super pumped about what just happened here. So leave a comment with your thoughts or if you saw that I did something wrong. Maybe I'm doing something completely wrong. I don't know. Again, I don't know how to code and I thought these were supposed to help people that don't know how to code. Hope you liked this video and as always, subscribe so you get my next one and...